And here we are back with another episode of Ace Attorney with a Real Lawyer. Joining me once again, we've got the professional voice actor, Wes. What's going on? And our actual lawyer, Pridge. Hey, everyone. <laughs> uh, all right. Uh, Pridge found out an extremely fun fact in our interim. Pridge, why don't you give us that? All right. So this, this, is, from, uh, this is from the Wikipedia article on conviction rates. Uh, and this is under the, the Japan section. The criminal justice system of Japan has been referred to as a form of hostage justice, inclu including in an appeal of by, what, by 1,010 Japanese professors, lawyers, and other legal professionals. Colin Jones, a professor at the Doshisha Law School in Kyoto, notes that the system has a conviction rate commonly described as 99.9%, but that the rate is, in fact, closer to 99.4%. This high conviction rate can be at least partly explained by the fact that Japanese prosecutors drop roughly half the cases they are given. Hmm. Jones agrees with the group of legal professionals petitioning for change that practices such as interrogating suspects without counsel or charge for up to 23 days. What? Not requiring the disclosure of exculpatory evidence or of the, rela or of the relationships between prosecutors and the courts increase the likelihood of convictions. Wow. These professionals are unequivocal in their belief that the system contributes to wrongful conviction. That's, so that's straight, wild. That's bonkers because in the U.S., you can pretty much stop all interrogation until you get an attorney. Yeah. So interrogation yeah. for up to 23 days without counsel is bonkers. I imagine also, people just like admit guilt even if they're not guilty because they just. Well, I mean, I mean that still that still happens in the U.S. Yeah. all the time, but for. I mean, that's got to be rampant. And also not requiring the disclosure of exculpatory evidence. That's also crazy. In the U.S., if the prosecutor finds something that would prove the defendant innocent, they have to give that to the defense attorney. That's required and is grounds for a mistrial if they don't. That's yeah. book wild <laughs> that they don't yeah, have so like, to. <laughs> yeah. Okay. That's worse than I thought, actually, from the research I was doing before. Damn. Well... Uh, let's get to court. Oh, fuck yeah. I rabble, forgot, rabble, that, rabble, forgot rabble. that we haven't met Edgeworth yet. <laughs> yeah, baby. The court is now in session for the trial of Miss Maya Fay. The prosecution is ready, Your Honor. Uh, that's good. I was, I was curious what you were going to do. <laughs> yes. He's, he's, he's got to be, like, kind of British. Oh, yeah, totally. <clears throat> the defense is ready, Your Honor. Miles Edgeworth. I better not show any signs of weakness today, or he'll be on me in an instant. <clears throat> Mr. Edgeworth, please give the court your opening statement. Thank you, Your Honor. The defendant, Miss Maya Fay, was at the scene of the crime. The prosecution has evidence she committed this murder. And we have a witness who saw her do it. The prosecution sees no reason to doubt the facts of this case. Your Honor. I see. Thank you, Mr. Edgeworth. Let's begin then. The prosecution calls the chief officer at the scene, Detective Gumshoe. It's like the prosecutor, give your opening statement. Defense attorney, fuck, fuck you. off. <laughs> you get nothing. Witness, please state your name and profession to the court. Sir! My name is Detective Dick. My name is Dick Gumshoe, sir. I'm the detective in charge of homicides down at the precinct, sir. God, if he's in charge. Detective Gumshoe, please describe for us the details of this murder. Very well, sir. Let me use this floor map of the office to explain. Good. Music. Body was found by this window here. As you can see, I made the outline slightly phallic-shaped. <laughs> for me, it looks like a guitar case. It does, actually. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> and the cause of death? Loss of blood due to being struck by a blunt object, sir. The murder weapon was a statue of the Thinker found next to the body, sir. It was heavy enough to be a deadly weapon, even in a girl's hand, sir. That's sexist. Even in, a, even in a little sissy girl's hand. <laughs> the court accepts this statue as evidence. They're still calling it a statue? 
I mean, it is still a statue. It yeah. A clock. It could be two things at once, Phoenix. <laughs> you immediately arrested Miss Maya Fay, who was found at the scene, correct? Can you tell me why? Yes, sir. I had hard evidence she did it, sir. Hmm. Detective Gumshoe, please testify to the court about this hard evidence. Here we oh, go. Oh, man. Oh, baby. As soon as the phone call came in, I rushed to the scene. There were two people there already. The defendant, Miss Maya Fay, and the lawyer, Mr. Phoenix Wright. I immediately arrested Miss Maya Fay. Why? We had a witness account describing her. S or the witness saw Miss Maya Fay at the very moment of the murder. The very moment, you say. Very well. Mr. Wright, you may begin your cross-examination. Yes, Your Honor. Cross-examine what? I couldn't see a What's single contradiction. <laughs> yeah, <laughs> it's the second tutorial. <laughs> <laughs> oh, I forgot already. Whoosh. Smack. Hey, Maya just threw something at me. What's this? Now, could you get away with throwing a piece of paper? <laughs> like, like hints from the balcony? When my I sister... Mean, so, so technically, you and your client should be like sitting at a table together, so she yes. really need to throw it. She just yeah. handed it to you. I'm really confused why she's not sitting next to him right now. Yeah, where is she? Where is she when she needs to throw things at me? Uh, when my sister couldn't find any contradictions, she would bluff it off and press the witness on every detail. We already did the tutorial. It's fine, Maya. Maya's hanging in the cage that's dangling over the courtroom. <laughs> also, I guess additionally, she doesn't have to write that. She could just say that to me. Yeah. <laughs> I should have expected Maya would know some of her sister's tricks. Phoenix, you're a lawyer. You should know this. You should know <laughs> you're licensed to practice law. Right. How do you not? Let's give this cross-examination <laughs> thing a try. I mean, I just told you to do that. So, yeah. <laughs> okay, sure. <laughs> Go to whenever something about the moment of the crime or whatever. Yeah, the moment of the murder is what you want yeah, to press. Yeah, press this one. Yeah. Hold on just a second. Y yeah? If I heard correctly, you said you arrested her because you had hard evidence she did it, correct? Huh? Did, did I say that? Who, me? I heard you say it. You did say it. <laughs> you said it. <laughs> okay, that was great. Exactly what about this suspicious woman in Pink's claim was, quote, hard evidence? What? Miss May isn't suspicious, and she sure isn't Pink, pal. Uh, well, I guess she is Pink. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> That's enough, Detective Gumshoe. Do you have any more solid proof other than her claims, detective? Um. Hmm. I guess pressing can have its advantages. What the? Like, I get it's the second case, but Phoenix. <laughs> yes. Uh. Sorry, I got the order of things mixed up in my testimony, Your Honor, sir. This fucking guy. Swing. Witness testimony, part two. After, After securing oh, the suspect, I hey, this is my line. <laughs> I examined the scene of the crime with my own eyes. I found a memo written on a piece of paper next to the victim's body. On it, the word of Maya was written clearly in blood. Lab test results showed that the blood was the victim's. Oh, I'm, I'm actually surprised they did lab tests. <laughs> Uh, one thing you'll find out about this game is that lab tests are... They use them when they decide it's convenient for the sake of the case. Yeah. <laughs> and sometimes they're like, sometimes they're like, oh, this lab, these results won't be back until two days from now. And sometimes they're like, go get these results. All right, ten minutes later, we have the results here. There was blood found on the victim's finger. Before she died, the victim wrote the killer's name. 
Rabble, rabble, rabble. Rabble, 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 rabble. How do you like that? That's my hard evidence. <laughs> <laughs> Detective, are you I, flirting with me? My, my wife calls this my hard evidence. God damn it. <laughs> Before we begin cross examination, we, we're technically still doing that today. actually. It, it already started. <laughs> no, no, no. This is a different one. <laughs> I have a question for you, Detective. Your, your Honor. Why didn't you testify about this vital piece of evidence the first time? Uh, uh I know. I'm real embarrassed I forgot about it, Your Honor, sir. Try to be more careful. Oh, it comes you. <sighs> Very well. The defense may begin its cross-examination. I, I, I never stopped, actually. <laughs> Would you like to look at the evidence, actually? Yeah, sure. Just look at what I have. Go through what we've got. Uh, single blunt force trauma. Death was instantaneous. Oh, yeah. yeah. Can, can, when can I present that? Because how do you write something? Okay, keep going until he says about writing in your own blood, then present that. Not here. When he says the victim... Not here. When he says the victim wrote oh. it in her own blood. Before she died, she wrote the killer's Yeah, name. okay, yeah. Instantaneous death doesn't leave time to write uh, someone's name. Here we go. Fantastic objection. objection. Yes. Detective Gumshoe, there's one thing I want you to clarify for me here. You say that the victim, Mia Fey, wrote this note. That she was accuse, accusing the defendant, Maya Fey? That's really what you're saying. You're saying that? Are you sure you're saying that? Is that what you're saying? <laughs> what? This isn't one of those lawyer tricks now, is it? Of course she wrote it. Who else could have? <laughs> you have it backwards, detective. Backwards? The victim is the only person who absolutely could not have written it. This is a report from your department, detective. Immediate death due to a blow from a blunt object. She died immediately. But... No butting your way out of this one, detective. Rebel, 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 rebel. Order! Order! The defense has a point. <laughs> Thanks. Someone who died immediately wouldn't have the time to write anything down. Yeah. Mr. Wright... I beg your pardon, but when exactly did you attain that autopsy report? W when? It was the day after, because I went to go talk to him and he gave it to me. It was the day after the murder. The prosecution's point being... <laughs> yeah, I love his little... That autopsy report is outdated, Your Honor. W what? A second autopsy was performed yesterday, at my request. Death was almost immediate due to a blow from a blunt object. Can you do two autopsies? <laughs> the, the, the operative word being almost. But there is a possibility that the victim lived for several minutes after the blow. Possibility, though. <laughs> I was going to say, that's actually really bad evidence. Yeah. I received these results this morning. No way. Your Honor, it's quite easy to imagine that the victim did have time to write Maya. It's also easy to imagine she didn't. I love his little bow. Yeah. That is all. I see. Damn you, Edgeworth. I should have known you'd have something up your sleeve. Also, why did no one give me an updated autopsy report? Why, Mr. Wright, you look shocked. Yeah, because I, right, I have a right to examine evidence, too. Something you want to say? <laughs> <laughs> I'm a sham! Wait, do I actually have to pick something here? Yes. Yep. Uh. These uh, are all stupid. <laughs> I mean, the detective is actually a sham, so just tell us the detective's a sham because I don't like him. It's detective Gumshoe, you're a sham! <laughs> How could you give me a faulty report? Huh? I, I thought... 
<laughs> you are at fault, detective. Yeah, I this isn't this going guy. to look. This isn't going to look good on your evaluation next month. What? But. but uh, your Honor, I submit this report to the court. Uh, understood. The court accepts the evidence. Autopsy report updated. Well, Your Honor, the evidence strongly suggests the victim was identifying the killer. No, it doesn't. Yeah, I agree. <laughs> the, the evidence could be interpreted that way, but it doesn't strongly I suggest shit. I suppose that's the obvious conclusion, yes. It really isn't. <laughs> Y'all are bad at this. Darn. <laughs> this isn't good. The prosecution would like to call its next witness. This poor, innocent girl saw the murder with her own eyes. Rubber, rubber. Like, why are they freaking out? Like, a, we knew that there was a witness. Let the witness, uh, Miss April May, take the stand. I like how I never formally ended cross-examination, but again, <laughs> fuck Phoenix right, I guess. Ah, oh, God, the music. Witness, your name, please. April May. Oh, no. Oh, my service. God. Wait. No. Yeah. Miss May, stop trying to seduce the entire courtroom. <laughs> Order. An introduction should not require any reaction from the crowd. <laughs> Regardless of how sexy it is. Uh, really quick, Ekipan in the chat says, court procedure is more like guidelines, really. <laughs> <laughs> The witness will refrain from wanton winking. <laughs> Aww. Yes, your honor. Tell us, where were you on the night of September 5th when the murder occurred? Um, gee, I was, like, in my hotel room. <laughs> I checked in right after lunch. And this hotel is directly across from the Fay and Co. law offices. Mm, that's right, big boy. Really quick, uh, we do have somebody new in the chat whose name is Phoenix Dwight, and that's very good. Hello. Yeah, <laughs> welcome. <clears throat> Please testify to the court about what you saw. <sighs> it was like nine at night. I looked out the window, you know. And then, ooh, I saw a woman with long hair being attacked. The one attacking her was the mousy girl sitting in the defendant's chair. Then the woman, like, dodged it to one side and ran away. But that girl, she, she caught up to her and, and she hit her. Then the woman with the long hair, she kind of slumped. The end. That's all I saw. Every little bit and witsy. God, I hate her. <laughs> hey, what did we say about the wanton winking? We warned you about that. Mm. I see. It is a remarkably solid testimony. Is it? I don't see a need to trouble the witness any... W wait, Your Honor. Yes, Mr. Wright. What about my cross-examination? <laughs> <laughs> All right, I thought the witness's no. testimony just that was quite firm. Yo, dog, that Did ain't you? your choice. You don't get to decide that. <laughs> Mr. Wright, I understand you were Miss Faye's, Miss Mia Faye's understudy. Were you not? No, I was fucking not, not understudy. This isn't a theater. <laughs> so we aren't in theater. You must know her techniques well. A cowardly way of finding tiny faults in perfectly good testimonies. That's not... <laughs> that's not cowardly. That's called doing your job. Hey, how dare you? Well, Mr. Wright, will you cross-examine the witness? Yes! Damn! <laughs> despite, despite what this game wants me to be, I'm going to be a good lawyer and, you know, cross-examine <laughs> witnesses. I'll gladly proceed with the cross-examination. If only because I have a feeling Edgeworth doesn't want me to. Well, no shit. Also, 
<laughs> I should also do it because it's my fucking job. <laughs> like, think of a situation where you wouldn't cross-examine a witness. Like, no, that's all. <laughs> but they just said your your defendant did it. No, I'm good. <laughs> I'm good. <man. laughs> we we out. <laughs> okay, let's press this one. Yeah. How did you know it was my client? Huh? Well, I... She... Well, first of all, she had a girl's physique. And... And secondly, she was... She was small. Who else could it be but her? She has a point. <laughs> yeah, you're right. Oh, it's the only one small girl in the world. <laughs> it's my client. Yeah, I question your testimony. <laughs> Hold on a minute. That testimony stinks. <laughs> what? Miss May, I'm willing to bet that... You saw nothing. You saw nothing. We going with that one or we going with lying? <laughs> go, go with your lying. Actually, uh... Ah, oh, no. shit. Uh, are you telling the truth? Did you really see the defendant? <laughs> <laughs> Mr. Wright, what's the meaning of this? Okay. If you had really witnessed my client, Maya Faye, you would have noticed her clothes before noticing her physique. I mean, I guess that's, that's a, a fine argument, but it's weird. That's a weird way to take that. Yeah. <laughs> I'm going to go out of limb and say that was an odd... That was no, a leap of, like, leap of from logic. That distance, from that distance and vantage point, you would probably only really get a silhouette. Uh, I really appreciate <laughs> the uh, the eye twitch they give her for this yeah, animation. It's oh, very yeah. good. The sprites in this game are just gorgeous. Yeah. They really are quite good for their uh, for when this came out. Yeah, the, this, uh, the, the Japanese version was 97? Is that right? Yeah. Jesus. That's pretty, that's a pretty good sprites for them. No one wears clothes like that on a daily basis, except her. <laughs> <laughs> and I'm no expert on fashion, but her hairdo looks Listen. far from normal to me. Listen, yeah, I'm no expert on fashion. <laughs> what a fucking statement for a lawyer to say. The testimony is bogus. But, but... Still, we don't know if she was dressed that way the night of the murder. She was, Your Honor. I saw her. And so did That's Detective certain. Gumshoe. Yeah. <laughs> What do you say to that, Miss May? Huh. <laughs> How are you gonna do this one? <laughs> yeah, the, the 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 growl is interesting. Yeah. Um. Rawr. <laughs> what are you trying to say, you mean lawyer? That's pretty good. That's pretty yeah, good. I dig that. I dig that. I just didn't think all the trifling little details were necessary, darling. Miss May. Heads up, heads up. When you're testifying in court, the, the trifling details do matter. Mm, Just, mm, you know. <laughs> the court would like to remind you to please omit nothing in your testimony. Actually, re real quick question. So, like, how far can you go with, like, pressing for different things before somebody's like, this is, uh, like, objection uh, irrelevant? It's gonna, I mean, they once you start pressing, they might start yelling out objections because they don't like it. But mm. if the judge keeps overruling your objections, then keep on pressing. <laughs> eventually, eventually they'll say sustained, and that's when you shut up. Mm. But uh, until mm -hmm. they stop you, keep yeah. pressing as far as you need to go. I'm sorry, Your Honor. I'll be a good girl. I promise. God damn it! Your testimony again, if you would. Damn. I almost had her. Did you? Did you? <laughs> <laughs> I did see everything. I did. The victim, the, the woman, dodged the first attack and okay, ran now we're, need, now we're gonna need the floor plan. Then the girl in the hippie clothes ran after her. Now, <laughs> we'll get back to that. And she hit her with the weapon. I saw it, I did. That, that clock, um, the kind of statue-y clock? The thinker, I think? Well, does the accuracy of my report not startle you? <laughs> now, I, I don't want to give things away. I see. I only wish you had been so detailed from the beginning. Please begin the cross-examination. 
All right. Uh, let me let me press on this one. Yeah, I guess. A clock. Didn't this come up in another testimony recently? It, it was literally what? the only other trial you've done, Phoenix. How do you I'm not remember say. this? <laughs> Don't look so sour, Mr. Lawyer. You can't win them all. Okay, the witness is being hostile. <laughs> is that a thing? <laughs> uh, yeah. Oh. So can you, can you, you like, you know, throw you know out a witness? Said, you, you, know how you, you know how I said you can't use leading questions in direct examination? Mm-hmm. You can you can if the witness is being hostile. Oh, okay. You, you 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 do you do get certain tools to fight back against a witness who is just clearly going out of their way to impede giving you testimony. Interesting. Okay. okay. I don't. I know. think you can probably present the clock. I think that's yeah, right. Sure. Let me try it. Okay. Yeah, that was it. Yeah. Miss May, what you said just now was quite. Revealing. Oh, the music came in. <laughs> Revealing? Ooh, you'd like that, wouldn't you? Gotcha. Naughty Mr. Lawyer. You just said that this statue of the thinker was a clock. But there's no way of knowing that just by looking at it. Uh. Another person in much the same position as you recently called this a clock, too. And he was found guilty of murder. <laughs> Okay. <laughs> By correlation, that means you're also guilty I was gonna say, of murder. murder. <laughs> Don't say that, Phoenix. That's, that's not... That doesn't mean shit at this point. Miss May, can you explain how you know this was a clock? The witness saw the murder with her own eyes. That's all that's important here. That's not true. <laughs> not true, Miles. The defense is trying to confuse the issue with trivial concerns. No, I'm trying to wonder why the... Yes. I'm yes, trying to wonder why a witness has such in-depth knowledge of a murder weapon. You will withdraw your question, Mr. Wright. No, I won't, Judge. <laughs> Fuck off. But questions are all I have, Your Honor. That's all we have. And as you may... And, rec <laughs> and to a certain extent, that is correct. And as you may recall, I've caught murderers with these questions before. It's murderer singular at this point. <laughs> well... No, <it's>, uh, I... <laughs> I had, I have caught a murderer. Well, okay, there it is. Well, only okay. once. Damn God it. damn it. God damn it. I love how we tear this game apart and then it's like, hey, fuck you. <laughs> Objection sustained. You may continue to Wait, question the witness. Really quick. Phoenix did just say, hey, no, I'm allowed to question the witness. The judge paused for two long beats and then swung his gavel and said objection sustained when nobody was talking. <laughs> if you stopped me there, the trial would be over. No, it wouldn't. <laughs> no, it wouldn't. <laughs> huh? What? So what happens now? What happens now is you answer my question. How did you know it was a clock? What? That's... Because... I heard it? Yes, I heard it say the time. Yeah, so, yeah. I mean, you've been why. to the law offices of Fay & Co. No. Hey, I didn't say that. Why would I go there? I heard from my hotel room. The law offices of Fay & Co, where the murder took place, are very close to the hotel. She could have easily heard the clock. Could she? Well, Mr. Wright, are you satisfied? No. No. Your Honor, I can't give up now. <laughs> I'm not satisfied because... It couldn't have rung. Dang. Your Honor, members of the court, it is inconceivable that the clock in question rang... It's empty. She because said she took the she yeah. said she took the gears out, so it's empty. That clock is missing its clockwork. Rubble, 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 rubble. But how could you possibly? Just have a look as soon as you can. <laughs> oh. oh. See anything oh. interesting, Your Honor? It is just as the defense says. This clock is missing its clockwork. It's quite empty. Mr. Wright, would you care to explain to the court the meaning of this? It is, as you can see. 
The clock was empty. It couldn't have rung. Therefore, this witness is a big, fat liar. Fat? <laughs> well, Miss May. Oh, shit. What's Edgeworth got up his, up his sleeves? <laughs> Quite a show you've put on for us, Mr. Wright. He knew the clock was empty? Somehow, he knew? I'm afraid you've forgotten one thing, however. Indeed, the clock is empty. As you say, it can't ring. However, we must ask, when was the clockwork removed? Ha! Huh, I have a transcript of a phone call that says it was already out. If it was after the witness heard the clock, then there is no contradiction. I'm about to dunk on you, Edgeworth! <laughs> well, Mr. Wright, can you dunk on this man? <laughs> <laughs> he cannot dunk on me. <laughs> It, oh, it is impossible to dunk on me, of course. <laughs> White man can't jump. <laughs> I have proof and hops. What? He dunked? Oh, shit. <laughs> Edgeworth is stammering. <laughs> Wasn't it you who told me proof is everything? Well, How did you say that? I was listening. And now I'll show you the proof you like so much. That was a bad phrase, Phoenix. <laughs> Present. Take, Take a look that. at this. It's a cell phone. Mm. Hmm. That's a very <laughs> cute cell phone. Wait, this isn't my phone. Phoenix, why are you getting embarrassed right now? Listen, this is the <laughs> defendant's cell phone, and it contains a recording. A recording of a conversation she had with the victim on the day of the murder. <laughs> Order! Order! <laughs> the defendant's cell phone. Oh, God. Ooh, this, Edgeworth is this mad. This brought to my attention. It feels so good when Edgeworth is disturbed. I know, right? He's got a black eyeliner on. Perhaps Detective Gumshoe overlooked it. He is terrible at his job. A good detective better remember he's <laughs> up for evaluation soon. My heart goes out to you, Edgeworth. Not... Uh, my heart goes out <laughs> to you, Edgeworth. Nah. My wife. <laughs> Your Honor, I think this recording... where she... Uh, what do you say? Sorry. I was saying, is the rest of the conversation where she mentions that there might be papers in there, not... Yeah, in vital, like, vitally important papers as say, evidence. There's, there's some extremely vital motive, um, if, yeah. you were going, if you included <laughs> the rest of that. I think this recording makes it clear that the clockwork was already gone. And this was recorded in the morning, before the witness even arrived at her hotel. Well, Miss May, would you care to explain this to the court? Just how did you know that the weapon was a clock? Well, well, isn't it obvious? I saw that clock before. Um, what store was that at again? I go to so many. Oops, I forgot. Ha, custom made. You wouldn't have seen it at a store. Well, the witness had seen it before. Does the defense have any objections, Mr. Wright? Yes, yes. the custom made. Yes, the custom made clock. You wouldn't have seen it. Judge, you literally tried that case. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, made made by Larry Butts. Yeah, yeah, made by Larry Butts. <laughs> it's simple. This clock was never in any store ever. What? A friend of mine made that clock. Only two exist in the entire world. And that and the one that isn't here is in police custody. The other one because should have been too. <laughs> because they keep getting used as murder weapons. Impossible. Everything is sold in stores. Miss May, I think it's high time you went shopping for a better excuse. Damn! Damn! <laughs> Fuck! Oh, Excuse is not on sale today? Oh, Holy shit! Phoenix! When Phoenix, gets in, his, when oh. Phoenix gets in his zone, he goes off. Oh! Now, Bridge, could you, could you say something like that? <laughs> it's a bad taste. <laughs> wait, it's wait, a wait. It's bad taste. Wait. Oh, she let him fall. She stopped holding him up. 
What's it to you, porcupine head? <laughs> that stupid clock doesn't matter, okay? She did it, and she should die for it. Die! <laughs> Jesus fuck. All right, the witness is now demanding my client die. Can we please <laughs> treat her as hostile now? <laughs> Whoa! Let's not get ahead of ourselves. This is a court of law, and the witness will remain calm. That first statement's debatable. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> <laughs> oh, oh. Oh, oh, oh. This is silly me. <laughs> did I, um, like, lose it? I guess I did. <laughs> S scary. <laughs> Miss May, let me ask. Tell me, how did you know the weapon was a clock? Oh, I love that side face. Yeah. Oh, dear. Does the defense have an opinion on this behavior? Okay, this is it. Yes, Your Honor. Allow me, explain, allow me to explain how I see the truth of the matter. Miss April May, you knew the weapon was a clock because... I, you had heard about it because of the wiretap? We'll go with that. The witness had never held the clock in her hand. However, she had heard that it was a clock. She heard? That is correct, Your Honor. There is no other way she could have known the thinker was a clock. From this evidence I stole. <laughs> and I can show you the proof. Well, this is interesting. Let's see it then. I guess we're dropping out the wiretap. Yeah. That I, illegally, that I illegally obtained. Have a look at this. Ah! Oh, uh, that? <laughs> I found this in Miss May's room. I stole this from Miss May's room, and I will be disappointed <laughs> going to jail after this, but oh, whatever. Mm -hmm. Mr. Wright, please explain to the court what this is. Miss April May, you were tapping the victim. <laughs> Miss Mia Fey's phone, were you not? Your Honor, this is irrelevant. I'm not entirely sure that is. Objection over Get Ooh. fucked. Damn. It troubles me that our witness was in possession of a wiretap. This is outrageous. Does the defense truly claim that the witness was tapping her phone? Absolutely. Even if that was the case, which it's not, you still have to prove one thing. Did the victim ever say that the weapon was a clock on the phone? Yes, we literally yeah. we literally did that. You listen you listen to the call, dude. Can you prove that? I think not. Edgeworth, you're bad. Oh yeah? I think I can. It's simple. I'll replay this phone what? message. <laughs> Here's my not proof. Me. It's it's the cell phone record. Yeah. Again. The, the proof yeah, why would they we did this already. You all listened to it. I present the defendant's cell phone. Yes, we've seen that. <laughs> Listen once more to the conversation between the defendant and the victim. Yeah, what's up? You haven't called in a while. So in this situation, I mean, courts do have transcribers who are transcribing mm. all this stuff. So mm. they probably just would have gone back to the record and oh, been like, cool. hey, uh, we, 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 had a, we have a you know court reporter transcribing all this. We wouldn't need to play it again. We just, <laughs> the transcriber would have written down what the recording said, and we just read that. Hmm. Would the transcriber read, or would someone else read what they wrote? The transcriber would read from the record. Gotcha. Okay. I, I feel like being a transcriber is actually a really difficult skill. Oh, man. I, I've looked it up. The word per minute you need to have in typing skills Jeez. insane. Well, actually, there's something I want you to hold on to for me. Again? What's it this time? It's... A I'm going to speed through this because we already know about this. Yeah, it's a clock. Okay, we've, there we go. we've seen this three times. Miss April May, you used a wiretap to listen to this conversation. That's how you knew the thinker was a clock. Am I wrong? I... <laughs> I... Your Honor, this is ridiculous. Your Honor, look at the witness's face. Does she seem amused to you? The defense demands an answer. La. La. You make me want to la la. Yeah. Witness, answer the question. Did you tap her phone? 
Miss May! Shut up, all of you! What gives you the right to talk to me like that, you, you lawyer? It's not really an insult, I'm a lawyer. <laughs> yes, that is my <laughs> career. <laughs> Everyone's like, oh. It's not fair. Are you ganging up on me like that? All of you ganging up on me like that? Oh, so I'm the bad girl. Is that it? Is that it? You are committing perjury, so <laughs> yes. That did it. The court's seen the real Miss April May now. Now to deal the final blow. Why the wiretap? Yeah, I mean, we have no idea that she did it. I'm not going to accuse her of murder just yet. Finish her. Why did you tap her phone? Answer the question. Do I have to? <laughs> yes. Yes? <laughs> Isn't this a murder trial? Isn't it, is it tippity-tapping or irrelevant? No. <laughs> We've established... She's... She's saying exactly what Edgeworth wants her to say. Miss May, you were tapping the victim's phone. I hardly call that irrelevant. Yeah, you are correct. Yeah, it's literally... <laughs> While this court does not condone the defense's tone of speech, he has a point. What the fuck, <laughs> Judge? <laughs> well, Miss May, do you have an explanation for the court? Can you prove... You had nothing to do with this murder, even though you tapped her phone. Ha! I'd like to see her pull that off. Okay, so the killing happened around nine at night. Why, that's just when I was getting room service from that sweet bellboy. R room service? Ice coffee, I believe it was. At nine Ice at night? Ice coffee? You know, like normal coffee, but cold. <sighs> I feel like maybe in 1997 this would have been interesting, but now we're like, yes, everybody drinks iced coffee. <laughs> <laughs> if you don't drink it quickly, the ice melts, and then you have regular cold coffee. Thank you for this explanation about uh, how coffee works. Ice coffee? <laughs> what is that? <laughs> Think I'm making this up? Ask the bellboy. Okay, so th this is irrelevant. <laughs> Ergo, the witness was not on the scene at the time of the murder. What? I'm not claiming she did it. Yeah, I'm very This confused. is irrelevant. So, where does that leave us? It is my great displeasure to inform you that the witness appears to have been tapping the victim's telephone. However, that is a separate crime with no bearing on the current case whatsoever. Her testimony stands. She saw the defendant, Maya Fay, commit murder. Yeah, but we've clearly established she's a liar, and she has zero credibility. No, they're just gonna let her walk away? There's no way I can win this unless I tie Miss May to the murder somehow. No, I mean, in a jury trial, he's probably already won, because the, the star Enough, witness uh... has been reduced to a blabbering mess. So mm. he's, he's probably already created that, you know, reasonable doubt that gets you not guilty in a criminal case, but... It, you know. It's a good thing for Edgeworth. The judge is an idiot. <laughs> <laughs> well, does the defense have anything to say? Um, well, come on, think of something. I don't think the bellboy is here right now, but... Well, again, think outside the, the, the rules of normal court proceedings. Yeah, sure. Well, let's call the bellboy as a witness because that obviously where it's leading us. The defense would like to call the hotel bellboy as a witness. There's something yeah, suspicious someone... there. And I'm going to get to the bottom of it. Again, a person who would not be at this trial right now. I object to calling the bellboy. Why? What's your reason? Because I hold that the wiretapping had nothing to do with the killing. <laughs> However, if you agree to one condition, I'll consent to calling this witness. I, I, I'm allowed to call witnesses, too. I don't have to agree to your condition so you can call them. I can call my own witness. <laughs> Eat my ass, Edgeworth. If Miss April May's alibi is not called into question after you examine the bellboy, then you will recognize that Miss April May was not the killer. Thus, she is innocent. Never claim that in the first place. Therefore, you must accept the verdict of guilty for Miss Maya Fay. First off, not how any of that works. 
That is my condition. Take it or leave it. What? Uh, uh, okay. I, 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 you, there are not, there are not secret, there are not secret conditions that the prosecutor gets to put on the defendant. That, that is the weirdest thing I've are ever we, seen. Are we, are we playing by house rules or what? <laughs> yeah, what, what is this? Like, In uh, my house, if you want to call a witness, you have to make a deal with me. Now, if I yeah. land on go, do I get four hundred dollars or two hundred dollars? Uh, Miles, you don't get to create new procedures for court <laughs> because you well, don't like me. Well, what are you me. gonna do? You're gonna give up, or you're gonna accept his condition? Yeah, that's I not. I guess this is how he. I guess this is how he wins every case. He just sort of like rolls with it. <laughs> yeah, he just gets defense it's... attorneys who agree to absurd. Yeah, cases, exactly. cases just happen to Phoenix. It's just re... accept it, the condition. Whatever. It's really weird. We're like. All of the lawyers, apart from the introduction lawyer, or sorry, prosecutors, are like pitted. They're they're shown to be like these like dogs of like masters of prosecution, and every time Phoenix somehow just beats them, and by like the time you get to like the third or fourth game, they're like Phoenix Wright is a master defense attorney, and you're like, is he? <laughs> and like you go into the first case, and it's still like I don't remember what law is. <laughs> <laughs> Anyways, I'm all like right. a fourteen. I have like a fifteen and zero record, but yeah. I don't know what I'm doing. Understood. I accept your condition. Hmm. Fool, you fell right into my trap. You, you, you <laughs> activated, activated my trap card. Trap card. <laughs> I believe we're ready for the witness to testify. He certainly does look like a bellboy. What a statement! I know. Oh, <laughs> 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 but he has the piggity. He's still wearing his yeah. uniform, and he brought the freaking tea in. Hey man, I'm not mad about it. I'd have one of those little yeah. cookies. Got. <laughs> yes, sir. I received your summons in the middle of work, sir. I'm happy to be of service. Okay, so he wasn't in the courtroom. Yeah. They just lo luckily he wasn't doing anything. Uh huh. That tea set looks rather heavy. So without any further ado. The witness of your kid in his testimony. This bad boy has like the most jacked right arm of all time. Say, that would be insane. <laughs> oh yeah, the sped up one. Mm -hmm. I am the head bellboy of the fine Gatewater Hotel in business for four generations. Damn. I believe I received a call after eight in the evening from our guest, Miss May. She, was at, she asked for an iced coffee to be brought to her at nine on the dot, sir. I brought it to her. At precisely the requested time, of course. And I delivered the iced coffee to our guest, Miss May, herself. That's it. I see. The defense may begin its cross-examination. Yeah. I mean, how the fuck is he going to... <laughs> Whatever. Do you want to question his job? <laughs> <laughs> yeah. I, really up there, oh boy. One of these ones is going to be pressing on the fact that if she was visiting the bellboy, then she didn't witness the murder. Mm -hmm. Let's try this so, one. So, yeah, just press on some of these until we can find... That's uh, actually okay, a no. really good point. I didn't... I, you, you got to the, the resolution before I did. Absolutely, sir. Absolutely? Yes, sir. As in, so very absolutely, sir. It's an endearing mannerism. Of a, what mannerism the of fuck? I would love to be like, oh yeah, it's an endearing mannerism I have. I'm just so <laughs> very charming. Yeah, here we go. Yeah, this one. Precisely nine o'clock then? Precisely. Exactly and most definitely, sir, 9 p.m. How can you be so sure? Miss May was quite insistent that it be brought then. Oh, bellboy, teehee, I'd like iced coffee at exactly nine. Something like that, sir. Therefore, I knocked on her door at the crack of nine, sir. Why would she be so particular about the time? It's no good. There's nothing there. There's very much something there, Phoenix. It, is that it? This bellboy has absolutely no reason to lie. I'm not claiming he's a liar. <laughs> Now, if you have a, if you have any decency, you will end this rather tedious cross-examination here. Hmm. 
It was a bit tedious. I'm bored. Hey. I want to go home and play with my toys. The witness may leave the stand. Stop I ending my cross-examination for me. I can't let this happen. Protest. <laughs> Protest. Can I? I guess I can. W wait. Please wait. Yes? Does the defense have something to add? One last question. Let me ask one last question. Your Honor, I must have checked. On what grounds? This charade of justice has gone on far too long. Has gone on long enough. Now, now, Mr. Edgeworth, let's give the little baby his one more question. <laughs> what do I ask him about? Bed making. Well, yeah, I would have said room service, but I think it's something to do with the check-in time at the hotel. Mm -hmm. Yeah, that's right. I mean, we'll try it. Yeah. Tell me about check-in. Tell me about when you checked in, Miss May. Oh, all right. Very well, sir. My first thought was... But she was a beautiful, per beautiful, beautiful person. She's just my type of girl. So it was a disappointment, really. Uh huh. Here we go. I see. Huh? Excuse me. What exactly was a disappointment? Well, I'm not without charm, sir. But even I'd have little chance with her lover there. <gasps> what did he say? What did you say? <laughs> <laughs> ah. Oh. Uh. Rather, quite. Bellboy, tell us the truth now. Did another Miss May check in with another person? Don't... I object. That was objectionable. Wow, <laughs> great one, Miles. <laughs> <laughs> Objection overruled. The witness will answer the question. <laughs> Objection on grounds that it's objectionable. <laughs> uh, yes, I see. Why did you not mention this in your testimony? Well, sir, you, uh, you didn't ask. It was the, uh, good barrister there, Mr. Edgeworth, who... Uh. He asked me not to mention it if I wasn't specifically asked, sir. Uh, can, really quick, can, can, uh, prosecutors do that? I mean, I assume they can, yeah. What? Like, lead, like, uh, Coach a witness to not tell specific information unless pressed by the defense. Yeah, yeah, as long as they're not lying. Hmm. He can tell, yeah, you can tell them. I mean, yeah, that's what you should do. D don't say anything unless you're asked to answer it. But if you are, answer gotcha. honestly. Gotcha. Yeah, d don't don't <clears throat> give the other side more information than you have to. <clears throat> you fool. <laughs> do prosecutors call their witnesses fools? <laughs> they like can. An evil madman. <laughs> bad taste. It's in bad taste, but... I've done it! I've won! That's not also not true. <laughs> All you proved is that she has a boyfriend who might have been in the room. <laughs> April May checked into a twin room with a man, correct? Yes, sir. Then, when you brought them room service, you didn't see that man in the room. That's right, sir. Because he was out committing murder. Your Honor, we have just learned of another person involved who might have been the murderer. In this new light, I hold that it's impossible to judge the defendant. You agree, Mr. Edgeworth? Who? Who is this other person? Simple. Miss May. It was... <laughs> I mean... <laughs> the, the other, other person, person, person Miss, with Miss April May was Miss April May. It's the man with Miss May. <laughs> yeah. But we'll, we'll be obvious here. The man who checked in with Miss May. I mean, oh. why, why is he surprised by that one? Come on. <laughs> Your Honor. I didn't see that coming. <laughs> as has been previously revealed, Miss April May was tapping the victim's phone. Yet, Miss May herself has an alibi at the time of the murder. However, that does not clear the man that was with her. The bellboy saw no one else in the room at the time of the murder. Oh, my. I should I? What a convenient little setup. But it's too late. Too late? I suppose you'd like it if it was too late, wouldn't you? <laughs> After all, it was you who hid the presence of the other man from this court. Ooh. Oof. Upstart. Amateur. These accusations are ludicrous. Enough. The court acknowledges the defense's argument. I expect the prosecution and defense to look into this matter fully. 
Am I understood? Yes. Yes, you are. <laughs> He's like... <sighs> <laughs> that is all for today, for the trial of my affray. Court is adjourned. Yay. 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 She lives one more day. You still didn't prove who actually did it. You know, like a real defense attorney. <laughs> <laughs> Mr. Wright! You were amazing in there. R really? I think I might be your newest fan. Oh, I was just doing my job, you know? <laughs> Don't know why that's in quotes. <laughs> then again, that other attorney was pretty cool too. Huh? That face of his. With his eyes wide and trembling lips, it sends shivers up my spine. Hmm. Huh. If you say so. So, what happens with me? Do I get to go home now? Well, no. I don't think so. Not yet. Hey, if she's not a flight risk, if she's not a flight risk, she can be uh, released on her own recognizance. Well, if she was if she was suspected of murder, do you think they would? Uh, probably not in your own, yeah. probably not in your own reconnaissance. No, but mm. I don't know how bail I don't know how bail and bail and things like that work in Japan. So, mm. but I got a great lead in today's trial. A lead? That man with Miss May, he's the key. Oh, I get it. What happened to Miss May after that, anyway? I heard they arrested her. I guess she's learning her charms won't work on everyone. She's probably at the detention center now. I may have to go down there later. Anyway, this case is far from closed. Yes, sir. I'm going to find out more about this man. Do you think he was the one who... Maybe so. Probably. Yeah, I mean, if I've learned anything about video games. Also, okay. it's Miss. Also, it's Mr. White, that guy who helped ruin your family. <laughs> That's also oh, true. Man. Don't worry. Sorry, that's a spoiler alert, but we're gonna... We're, we're, Sorry, it's spoilers, my. Yeah. You don't know that yet. Don't worry. But it's really easy to, it's really easy to piece together if you've been paying attention, though. I'll find him by tomorrow. <laughs> I promise. I'm counting on you. I asked for a full record of April May's testimony. I thought it might come in handy during the trial tomorrow. But now that I have it, I'm not so sure. Most of her testimony was all lies. In fact... There's only one part that got left on the record. What the fuck is that? Part. Uh, I'm, I'm curious now what the hell it is. Uh, will, will lies be stricken from the record? The victim dodged, but she... How, now, how do we fucking know that's still tr the truth? <laughs> that's true, that's a good point. Uh, okay. uh, like... I mean, they'd still be in a transcript that you could read, so you could, you know still deter you know you can still read with the lies but I, I i don't know how that works i don't know if there's like a transcript of like this is the transcript of everything that was said and this is the transcript of the all the oddest things that were said i don't really know how that works actually <laughs> mm. what does it what does it mean when something is stricken from the record that would be removed from the transcript mm. okay like it would just be taken out completely yeah okay. we don't talk about you know who uh i don't know how much how much good this will do me at all now anyway Time to hit the pavement and do some investigating. Because that's what a lawyer has to do. It's also their job. Investigator. <laughs> Maya doesn't belong in that detention center, and it's up to me to get her free. Yeah. To be continued. All right. Well, uh, thank you, everybody, for watching. This has been uh, another episode of Ace Attorney with a Real Lawyer. Again, thank you to the voice acting talents of Wes and the loy lawyer talents, the law talents, the law knowledge of Bridge. Yeah, raw <laughs> law knowledge. <laughs> Stay tuned. Uh, we we do post uh, stream schedules to our Twitch, sorry, to our Discord, um, which if you're not a part of, join. Uh, but until next time, thank you again for watching, and we'll see you then for some more Phoenix Wright Ace Attorney with a Real Lawyer. <laughs>